Hey guys, I'm Shantanu Udasi back again with another video for Analytics India magazine capturing everything that has been happening in the world of artificial intelligence. I have gathered a few stories and let's just not waste any more time and jump right into our stories. Our first story is that Apple hires ex-Google artificial intelligence scientist who resigned after colleagues firing. So they are talking about Sammy Bengio, the head of AI research at Google who resigned after the firing of Margaret Mitchell and Nimnit Gebru. Apple on Monday said that they have hired Sammy Bengio who left Google after the turmoil in the AI research department. Bengio is expected to run the AI research unit at Apple under John Giandrea, the senior vice president of machine learning and AI strategy who also left Google in 2018 after spending 8 years at the company. Yet Apple has not officially confirmed the role that Sammy Bengio is going to play in the department and Sammy Bengio himself has declined to comment on this situation. Sammy did leave Google after the firing of Nimnit Gebru and Margaret Mitchell who were working under him on AI research papers and their research paper about the ethics of artificial intelligence was highly objectionable by the higher ups at Google and they asked them to retract the paper but they did not listen to them and hence they were fired from Google AI research unit. So as a result Sammy Bengio did not feel comfortable working at Google and he said that he is working on some new opportunities and Apple might be that opportunity he was talking about the previous month. This will indeed force Google to introspect the ethics of artificial intelligence that they are using as more and more researchers, scholars and employees are trying to distance themselves from AI research in Google. Moving on to our next story, our next story is trying to debunk the three of the biggest myths that we have about artificial intelligence and machine learning. So the first myth that they have debunked is artificial intelligence and machine learning are the same thing. They are not the same thing, machine learning is just artificial intelligence and one example of artificial intelligence put into use for a specific task. So artificial intelligence is one diverse field and machine learning is just one of the aspect of it. The example given here is of Alexa or Google Home which are working on speech analysis and if you tell them to turn the lights on or turn the TV on, they are just following your order after analyzing your speech pattern. On the other hand, machine learning systems are given data and they analyze this data and give you the outcomes which are very much suitable to you and will be beneficial to you and your company. Machine learning systems will reach to these conclusions by pattern analysis and they become smarter and smarter if you feed enough data into it and they can generate additional insights down the line and those insights become more accurate as you feed them more data. Myth number two that they have debunked is that artificial intelligence is not a magic wand. We have time and again discussed that right now artificial intelligence is far from becoming sentient and autonomous decisions are not in the picture as of yet. As of yet, augmented intelligence is the best thing as machine learning of today works very well with human oversight. Even the technology today, we are nowhere near autonomous decision making by the machines. So we will have to work harmoniously with machines to create the best of both worlds, the creativity of humans and the ability to process data of machine learning and work towards something better. The third myth that is debunked by them is most companies don't have the resources or they do not require artificial intelligence and machine learning. This is completely not true as artificial intelligence can solve most of your problems of your company however small they are. There are two options for any company to integrate artificial intelligence automation or machine learning is to create artificial intelligence softwares from ground up or use freely available artificial intelligence tools provided by third parties. The latter works better for small firms as they can use the tools and they can save a lot of time and effort in their companies and of their employees. No task is a small task and companies should look to invest in artificial intelligence because even if you are able to save 1% of your employees time which is spent doing mundane tasks that artificial intelligence can easily do, you can boost the creativity and productivity many folds. Moving on to our next story, our next story is an interesting stat about American workforce which says that Americans will tackle artificial intelligence and 50% of all the employees will require reskilling by the year 2025. 
the US government federal agents are very old and they are on the verge of their retirement and 18% of them have retired this year 34 will be eligible to retire the next year so they rapidly want a workforce which is skilled as the pandemic have accelerated the adoption of technology in various government sectors this article also suggests that artificial intelligence should be integrated from the bottom up and every employee should have the basic knowledge of artificial intelligence and emerging technologies. So these two factors of people retiring and new workforce required but new skilled workforce is required they are facing challenges to adopt these emerging technologies on large scale. Moving on to our next story, our next story is the dissection of India becoming the hotspot of data labeling jobs of the world. So India has emerged as the top outsourcing destination for data labeling for some apparent reasons, globalization, demographic advantages and cheap labor to name a few. So machine learning requires label data to learn any specific task and this data labeling task is very strenuous and time consuming. Data scientists around the world are opting to outsource data labeling jobs because the data scientists can focus and work on the algorithms rather than label the data. Data labeling jobs is time consuming but it is process oriented and these skills can be easy to acquire that's why India has become a huge market for outsourcing data labeling jobs. So the following have been given as the reasons for India becoming such a hot spot for data labeling services which is the cost effective workforce which requires the minimum amount of investment. The English literacy and basic computing skills of people are high compared to other countries so that they can learn these techniques and these skills easily. India have started attaining high speed and cheap internet so everyone can work from their home as well. India has also become a stable economy compared to a lot of other developing countries in Southeast Asia and Africa. Moving on to our next story. Our next story is about gaming and how artificial intelligence is tackling abuse in gaming. So we all know that online gaming has this underbelly of abuse and harassment around the world. That's why this article highlights how artificial intelligence can be used to stop the abuse and stop harassment. A lot of companies have taken steps forward to recognize speech patterns and bleep out the abusive language that is being used on a certain platform of online games. The first company is Intel which announced something called bleep an AI tool to censor abusive or derogatory words in chats while playing games. So this platform uses machine learning models and triaging technology to keep out toxic words from the chat. Multiple algorithmic gates are used to classify non-toxic conversation. So this is a step in the right direction as people have turned to esports, gaming, twitch streaming in the age of this pandemic as their source of their livelihood and people need to stay safe and they will have to promote anti-bullying and anti-abusive nature on online games. The gaming companies should take initiatives to encourage best practices to maintain the hygiene of online gaming space. Putting a credit scoring system based on online behavior will be an excellent place to start. This should work just as your banking credit score and people should actually be afraid about their gaming credit score. The company should commit resources to developing machine learning algorithms to moderate the content and curb hate speech on such platforms. So that's about it. Those were all the stories that I have for you today. Please click on that thumbs up if you liked this video. Read all these stories in their entirety. Links for them will be in the description down below. And as always, click on that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss any other updates from Analytics India magazine.